darklings! So today I wanted to sort of revisit a topic I'd sort of covered a couple of years ago. I know I'd done a video on dealing with families when you're of some kind of alternative, spooky, whatever subculture. Uh, I don't remember the video that clearly. I don't watch my own videos, so I don't remember everything I addressed. But this is pretty much just a friendly reminder to survive your family, I guess. Uh, by the time I'm posting this, it's between Christmas and New Year's, and basically this like week and a half, whatever, is kind of a shit show, and it's really rough to get through, especially if you have trouble or hiccups with your family, uh, whether just in general um, or because of your alternative type of lifestyle. So I have never been Christian, so the whole Christmas thing has always been kind of a joke to me. Um, my parents don't necessarily know or understand or for that matter care that I'm sort of pagan and I could tell them I'm a witch but they don't care so I don't um, but I know not everybody has that option I know that sometimes you have to hide who you are from your family and that's really shitty that you have to do that but not everybody is as understanding as they could be or should be um, but you should always remember that if you can talk to your family and get them to see your point of view then do um, for example, I am the type of person who is never going to be having children, and I'm totally okay with that, even if other people sometimes aren't, but something my parents didn't seem to entirely understand when they made the decision to make kids is that they are making tiny people that aren't them. So I know that when my mother was raising my brother and me, she was expecting two smaller versions of her in ways of thinking and action and personality and everything and instead she got two people that aren't her because everybody is different and so I know that there can be a lot of tensions between family members because their children aren't them and they're surprised by this it happens uh, so sometimes if you can and you can open up communication between family members it can kind of help with these things but sometimes you can't, and knowing when to cut out blood relatives because they're toxic is also a good line. I've lucked out that most of my family doesn't seem to care over much about my alternative appearance. They're, I don't really get in trouble, and so they don't really care. But I know it's different for some people. Uh, so, first off, I, the main reason why I became goth, which I've covered many a time, um, goth and punk and all this alternative spooky stuff, the main reason why it appealed to me is it made me feel more like me instead of what I was expected to be. And that's kind of how I look at, a, at subcultures and alternative subcultures, especially ones that are considered scary to the normal population, is if it's making you happy and it's making you feel more at home with yourself, then that's what matters. If you're able to explain that to your family, great. If you can't, then they'll never get it. I mean, it just sucks. But sometimes it makes it easier to deal with them if they can understand your point of view. So I just kind of wanted to throw this out there as a brief little survive the holidays message because sometimes being a spooky type is kind of hard around more conservative type family members. Um, this is basically a reminder to stay awesome, stay spooky, stay safe, survive your families, and let this shit show of a year be over. Till next time, darklings.